Hello, 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 hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayam and welcome back to the channel. Right? Today, we are going to solve this beautiful problem of maximum running time of N computers. Trust me guys, this is not at all a hard problem. It is mag hard. Idea is very, very interesting. And I will tell you why the problem makers of this problem make this problem hard. Because there are some interesting facts about this problem. With that note, let's get started with the video then. Problem says that you have n computers. Wow, we don't have only we have only one computer. But go back then. If given integer n and zero index integer array batteries, okay, ith battery can run computer for batteries of five minutes. You're interested in running all n computers simultaneously using the given batteries. So basically, you have a computer. You have n batteries. Now batteries are more and computers are less, as stated in the constant. That is very very important for this problem. Initially, you can insert at most one battery. Very, very important. At the most one battery means either one or zero battery into each computer. After that, at any integer time moment, you can remove a battery from a computer and insert another battery any number of time. What that means is like there's no time lag. Also, they mentioned that while you insert a battery and remove a battery from another computer, there won't be any time lag. And also, at any point of time, you can remove a battery, insert into a battery. It's like it is practically impossible, but the theoretically it is possible. And another, you may assume that removing and inserting process is not time. Notice that batteries cannot be recharged. They already mentioned that batteries, once let's say they have initial power, you can just consume them. There is no charger available. There. Return the maximum number of minutes you can run all and computer simultaneously. As soon as you read this thing, right? If you are like following my channel for a long time, you already know what we initially do. Firstly, what is the first step? Go to the constraints. Go to the constraints. Constraint says you sad life because batteries is 10 power 5 and battery of I is 10 power 9. There is no brute force way I can think of. Okay, something we have to think out of the box. Now, the next thing is whenever you see, see these kind of things, maximum number of minutes time comes or something comes like value comes our first thought of process is binary search on answer can we apply binary search on answer what that means is let's say to see the monotonicity okay let's say t is the time where it satisfies let us assume that so t if it is valid for a time t whether it is valid for t minus one as well so we can run the computer for t times all computer t times will can we run for t minus time one times also they are definitely are there's no problem about it if it can run for t time why why it can't run for t minus one time it will definitely run that means what it is monotonic it is monotonic and what how does it help this it helps in binary search on answer means like it will be true 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 for these region and at certain point of time it become false and we have to find the speak point we have to find the speak using our binary search on answer logic. Mm. If you're new to this concept, I have already made a video on this. You can check it out. The link will be in the description. And in the DSA revision series, I have made it. Cool. We have to find this peak, like after which time it becomes false. This is the maximum time. Right. Okay. So, yeah, we got it. This idea was not very difficult. But uh, now the implementation part of binary search on answer, I, I hope you remember that we have to implement a check function because the binary search wala logic, so it's very easy. Anybody can implement it. I am focusing on this check function. Now people will be confused with this check function. I will tell you and you will say, wow, Sam, wow, how do you think about these approaches? It's marvelous. Let's try to think from scratch what we can do. That. Okay, let's try to think about it. Hmm. So, what we have? We have some batteries and we have n computers. Okay. Now, too many things juggling in my head that how to work that. Now, see, I will clear all your doubts. Firstly, let's try to take this case that you have so much big battery and a very small battery. Let's say this is of 2 power and this is of 10 power. Now, let's try to visualize what we can make out of it. Only two batteries we have and we have also two computers. Let's try to see that. Can you make two things? Uh, can you run them for two units? Uh, definitely use two for this, two for this. Definitely we can use that. Okay. 
ओके कैन यू मेक एट थ्री सो यू विल बी लाइक ओके आई कैन मेक एट मोस्ट टू फ्रॉम हियर I need some word from here also. It can run for three. It can run for three, but can it deliver it one unit also to it? No. Why? Because this will be let's say this run for three units. That after that we cannot do it only because it ran for two units. It re it needs one unit after two units. So it will be idle. we are not running the computer computer simultaneously let us suppose the other scenario we run both for two units and we gave this computer to this so that for one unit it will run for three but no then this computer will be idle right that means what there is a upper cap there is a upper cap for every battery you i hope from this example you got to understand one point that every battery can at most can go up time can deliver up to a time this is the per cap and this is very important to understand you cannot use the whole battery cumulatively some people can think we can divide this it is very simple we can just chop off and divide the batteries but no but no you cannot do it very easily we have the limit of time also what is the another limit is the life of the itself battery life itself so there is two caps either the time or the battery of i itself definitely definitely these are the two caps okay 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 cool that is also fine so what we generally do in binary search we will take a time right and we gonna check it we gonna check it whether it is possible or not whether it is possible that is our idea i hope you remember or not okay but just tell me how much total we require in total don't think about from individual in total how many we require uh it is very simple same we have n computers and we have to check for time so we require at least this time of total battery life for all the computers uh uh right right if we don't get this can we make run them simultaneously no now here we are not considering about the simultaneous thing but at least this amount of energy will be required right uh you will be like absolutely we require from all the batteries this much power will be consumed okay and i already told you i already told you what is the maximum we can fetch from a battery we can battery we can fetch minimum of battery of of i comma time i hope you get it i hope you get it yeah sahi hai we cannot fetch more than that Battery of I say so. Zada we cannot even even fetch. And there is another cap time I already explained you. Because if you use the battery till time, that is the cap, right? After that the battery is useless because all the things have already been you used till time. That means you cannot use until the time reaches. That means this is useless after that time, right? Because this is cannot be used in an any other thing. Because then this computer only will fail. If you deliver it to any other computer, right? Absolutely, this is the idea. Now tell me one thing. If I just sum up these contributions, these contributions, don't think about now. I I am thinking about cumulative things. He oh you have to cut it. How to cut it? This is the contribution that every battery provides. And if I sum them up, and if it it is greater than or equal to total, it will be true. Otherwise, it is false. because this is the maximum contribution can we achieve this contribution definitely yes there is no doubt about it we can just take the contribution this from every battery hmm sayam you are absolutely right we can do that that is the idea cumulative is the power so we don't think about to break off in between we said say just sum up this contribution sum up this and if it is turns out to be greater than equal to total and our job is done wow will that work like can we achieve always these contribute this is the maximum cap we can achieve i hope you are getting it this is the maximum cap it's more not more than that we can fetch from every battery and can we achieve this maximum yes we can because we just can take oh use this battery completely and just use cumulatively like we just consider the contribution now we will decide 
now we will decide on our own to when to give to what but the important part is what is the contribution it can provide that is the time we can use it that is the idea don't think about simultaneous now because you already consider the fact of time here that is the first con contribution that time cap and also we consider the total power required for all the batteries to be run right and we have the total con contribution we can divide it that's not a big deal and that is the idea of this problem now another idea of this problem will people will fall in is the trap of low and high let me just quickly show you this is very simple i hope you get it there's no doubt about it the example itself that what we can do we can start with let's say four now what we can do is oh we need four so every contribution how much contribution it would provide so it could provide uh it could provide how much contribution could provide three contribution it will also provide three contribution it will also provide three contribution right because minimum of battery of i total nine contribution it is providing and what we have we need eight so four will work will five work let's try to check five won't work let's try to check minimum of same thing nine but the contribution the energy required is 50 see this n into time now this will tell you this will helps the uh, energy thing he okay will keep keep the gap and help you to determine whether it is true or false or not that is the idea of the simultaneous thing right so 15 energy we require but we cannot re achieve it so at max we can achieve four three two one obviously we can achieve that i hope you are getting it don't think about simultaneous now now the interesting fact i just need to tell you about that this is i think hope you understood that also one more thing i just need to tell you that the lower high should be long long why it could be long long because we are summing up it's not 10 power 9 or in max also no it can go beyond that the time limit i hope you are getting it why because you have 10 power 9 10 power 9 10 power 9 batteries and many batteries only two computers it could be go beyond the integer range absolutely now the first interesting thing you have to think about is what is the high limit if you do if you do 10 power 18 you get stuck why let me just tell you this see when you are doing so not this sorry this one n into time n into time time could go uh, up to 10 power uh, 18 and n could go around up to 10 power 5 10 power 18 into 10 power 5 it won't work it won't work i hope you're getting it i hope you're getting it so this won't work right yeah absolutely that you have to think about what is the maximum you can keep 10 power 19 you can make from long long so 10 power 5 is the highest so you can put at max highest 10 power 14 this there is a test case which require the answer is 10 power 14 so that is why i'm saying that you have to think about this case here very very important right otherwise the question is very very simple to mute the contribution the idea of the contribution is very beautiful i know it's not very intuitive to think about but if you think about now and think logically okay yeah, this is the contribution from every battery yeah this will definitely work so this is the contribution we take and at any time it, it exceeds the contribution we did uh, total we just return true otherwise we'll return false if it are running the entire loop nobody satisfied the total not satisfy we just return a false and low high logic it's very simple straightforward binary search logic mid we apply check we apply we increase the load so equals to mid plus one that okay we just neglect this half okay this half is not required if mid only satisfied right we just check in the right half i hope you get it and then just max out the answer of mid and because this is satisfying you just go on the right half go on the left half if it fails and you just return the answer so i hope you understood the entire solution if you do make sure you to subscribe to the channel like the video we'll see you in the next video then keep done keep learning then bye bye